All right, boys and girls. So here is an example of what our anchor chart will look like when we are finished with it. You will notice that we have our, the state of Virginia, okay? And we are also going to go by this key here, but you do not have a copy of this. So we're going to create it on notebook paper the best way that we can. All right. So go ahead and get out a sheet of notebook paper like this and make sure that you have your crayons or colored pencils to complete this anchor chart and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna create our map key. So we're gonna, up here at the top, we're gonna make a box that says legend or map key. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a red triangle that's going to represent our Scots Irish. Okay. We are gonna make a purple circle for our German culture. We're going to use a yellow line for our Indians. We are going to use a green tobacco leaf for our African culture. All right, and we're gonna use a blue star to represent our English culture. All right, so after you have that legend or map key completed, you're gonna take, and you're gonna draw Virginia the very best way that you can. Remember, it's kind of like a sideways triangle and it includes the Eastern shore out here. And we need to kind of section off Virginia because we have the coastal plain region right here by the Chesapeake Bay. We have the Piedmont region right beside it. We have the Blue Ridge Mountains. We have the Valley and Ridge region and then we have the Appalachian Plateau. Okay so if we look at our legend or map key we are going to draw well the we're actually going to start with the Indians because they were the first group that lived in Virginia. And if you want to just take your yellow and you're just going to outline Virginia the very best way that you can like this. Don't leave off that Eastern shore because the Indians, they lived all throughout Virginia and we can put a check mark beside that. Okay. The next group that came to Virginia, does anybody remember what, group came next. It was the English. You're exactly right. All right. So you have the English that came and we're going to represent the English in the coastal plain and tidewater region with blue stars. So if you just take your blue and create stars all throughout the coastal plain and Piedmont regions. And these stars do not have to be perfect. We're going to check off the English. Okay. Our next group that came to Virginia was the African men, women, and children, and they are represented by the green tobacco leaf. And they also lived in the coastal plain tidewater region. Okay. So we're going to represent the African culture with the tobacco leaf. All right, now we're gonna put a check beside the African culture. So the next group was the Germans and the Scots-Irish. So the Scots-Irish, and if you remember, they are in the Shenandoah Valley up here. They are represented with red triangles. And again, these do not have to be perfect. All right. And then you're gonna take your purple for the Germans. So we have the Scots-Irish represented. 
we're going to take the purple and you're just going to kind of shade in around because the Germans and Scots Irish both live there. Okay. So now this map represents the culture of the English, the Indians, the English, the Africans, and then the Germans and the Scots Irish. Boys and girls, you're going to take a picture of this anchor chart and upload it to your class kick page and then place this in the Virginia studies part of your binder.